Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about diverse career paths that petroleum engineers can take once they graduate. You've probably seen this in various articles that have been published by the Society of Petroleum Engineers. So I'll take some bits and pieces and put that in video form, as well as provide my take on other career paths petroleum engineers can pursue. Before we get to the content, please be sure to like this video, subscribe so you can get more content in oil and gas and professional development topics, and please be sure to comment on the video below so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Please be sure to hit that notification bell when you do subscribe because I upload every Friday and every Sunday. Every Friday is a professional development topic, such as this video, and every Sunday is a technical review. Well, let's get to the content. To give you some stats, Texas lost nearly 60,000 jobs due to the pandemic last year. 60,000 oil and gas jobs, to be exact. The Global Energy Talent Index mentions that 78% of oil and gas employees feel less secure about their job than they did a year ago. That's more than two thirds of oil and gas employees feeling confident about their jobs. So it's natural to think about what exactly is your plan B if you can't be a petroleum engineer, which is the purpose of this video if petroleum engineering is something that you want to venture out of and there are other possibilities for you to take. The moral of the story of this video is that with a petroleum engineering degree, you can be whoever you want to be. It might require additional education to venture into different industries. However, there are lots of skill sets that you have learned in petroleum engineering that I don't want you to forget about. You learned about different petroleum engineering subdisciplines. You learned in basic engineering calculations. You learned how to think critically. You learned how to solve problems. You learned economics, how everything really drives down to the bottom line. And every industry thinks about the bottom line. If you can communicate that to whichever industry that you want to go to, I can guarantee you that with the degree that you have, you're practically invincible. The first career choice I'm going to talk about outside of petroleum engineering is one of the more obvious ones that a lot of people are going towards. It's data science and data analytics. If you want to explore that career path, feel free to take those nano degree courses such as Udacity, Udemy, or you can pursue a master's of data science and data analytics in their plethora of universities that have offered that too. By going through the data science and data analytics program, you can also integrate your subject matter expertise in petroleum engineering. So you don't necessarily have to leave the industry, you serve the industry in a different way. By being a data scientist or a data analytics engineer, I can assure you that you would be very valuable to employers because you'd be able to data mine efficiently interpret data very quickly and use your subject matter expertise on what is good data and what is bad data from your experience in petroleum engineering. I do want to mention that if you want to pursue the data science data analytics route, I've also seen people get the masters of computer science degree or get into the tech industry if they want to venture out of petroleum engineering. I wanted to add a couple of those comments once I moved, before I moved on to the next career path. Another career path I've seen most petroleum engineers pursue once they get their degree is consulting. Management consulting has been the most common career path I've seen petroleum engineers take, but this will require you, not necessarily, but I say it's strongly recommended for you to get an MBA. By getting some work experience first or getting your foot in the door in the oil and gas industry or any industry you're choosing, try to get some work experience before you pursue an MBA or understand what your why is. Make sure to not spend too much time getting work experience before you pursue that MBA or then admissions starts thinking about you pursuing an executive MBA or they start questioning why you've waited so long. With the consulting path, you can make use of project management skills, 
make use of your petroleum engineering degree by looking into energy markets, being an energy analyst, getting your foot in the door that way as a consultant. Consulting is a fruitful career path that a petroleum engineer can take and doesn't necessarily have to take the traditional path of being a particular engineer in the oil and gas industry. I suggest that you take the consulting path because you get to learn how to interact with different industries, different personalities, and learn different communication styles to provide your recommendations and continue getting the client relationship work. Another common career path I've seen other petroleum engineers take, and this is a lucrative one, is investment banking. This will also, this is also suggested you pursue a master's of finance or take an MBA route before you get into banking, but I've seen petroleum engineers get directly into banking without having that background. Banking is a great way to understand the economics of the industry if you want to get back into the oil and gas industry or if you still want to keep a pulse of the oil and gas industry. Banking is also a great way for you to learn pretty much how money flows around, what it takes for, what kind of information is needed in order for banks to make decisions and for, for investments. And you can learn the ins and outs of, of that. I am no expert, but I've seen petroleum engineers from my graduating class get into banking, and I've seen other petroleum engineers get into banking as well after pursuing an MBA or pursuing a master's of finance degree. I also want to make a, another comment for investment banking. I lumped in private equity when I thought about this as well. You can learn that this will also require you to get an MBA or most preferably for you to get an MBA, to learn more about the finance side of how the business works in oil and gas or in any other industry. And the same skills that I mentioned for investment banking or the pathway to investment banking was the same thought process I had for private equity. Another career path I've seen petroleum engineers take, or once they get their degree, is in regulatory. You're still a part of the oil and gas industry, more or less, but you're not doing the traditional apply your petroleum engineering set disciplines or your petroleum engineering skills. You're most likely going to be regulating some of the activity that your fellow classmates are, going, are, are doing at oil and gas companies. The regulatory, you get to learn types of compliance, you get to learn what are, in layman's terms, you get to learn what the rules are of oil and gas and where you can drill, how, how far away you can drill, for instance, and what are some of the regulations that relate to health, safety, and the environment to help you continue your operations in oil and gas. Regulatory just gives you another area of the oil and gas industry that people, especially in the United States, or that companies in the United States need to abide by. And you get to learn what exactly is on the other side of enforcing such compliance. I've seen this more as a side gig, but a lot of petroleum engineers, considering that it is subsurface real estate when you think about it. You can get into real estate. I know a ton of petroleum engineers getting their real estate license, learning a lot about how to buy houses, rent out those homes, and you really need to look at the real estate market, for instance, before you want to venture into it and weigh the pros and cons, weigh the risks, and make sure you have a good nest egg before you start investing into that kind of venture. But if you really want to look at other career paths to where you don't want to make it a side gig or you're looking for a petroleum engineering job, but you want to do something to earn another to earn a stream of income while you're looking for that petroleum engineering job, you may want to look at the real estate option and probably take it seriously. There's plenty of YouTubers, for instance, that 
have talked about their real estate experience and it has benefited them quite well. In fact, they're millionaires because of it. You can make real estate a plausible option to be a full-time career as opposed to making it a side gig. But again, I've seen a ton of petroleum engineers get into real estate whenever things, whenever oil prices were taking a nosedive back in 2016. And that's a wrap, everybody. I'm sure you've heard these career pathways before, but I want to reiterate that there are still avenues that you can take if you want to get out of the oil and gas industry or if you cannot find a job in the oil and gas industry. I'm someone who's a proponent that if you are really passionate about the oil and gas industry, then you stick with it and keep trucking along until you find an opportunity. But I can also understand where if income is really necessary, which I'm sure it is for a lot of people, then you might want to consider other alternatives in the meantime. I know that when I was going through layoffs or when I was laid off, I was thinking about other my, my plan Bs as well for career pathways outside of the oil and gas industry just so I can keep a stream of income. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to listen to what I have to say. Remember that if you are out there looking for a job, just keep trying message me if you need any advice or need any help, but do not ask me if I can give you a job. Be sure to like this video, subscribe so you can get more content in oil and gas and professional development topics, and please be sure to comment on the video so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Once again, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one.